Hey guys, it's Alex, and uh, this is part two of my socket and nebulite video. I'm sorry for the delay. YouTube was giving me problems with uploading videos for the last couple days, so I didn't really get a chance to do it. But basically, what I'm going to show you in this video, if you haven't already figured it out, is how to mount a nebulite um, on an item and how the cubes work, basically. Um, so once you have your socketed item or whatever, you can go to your nebulites, and um, if you read the orange writing, the first line will say what the nebulite fits on. So for weapon and magic attack nebulites, they only fit on weapons. So um, the way you use it is you double click the nebulite in your setup, and then you just drag the item to it, click OK, and then you'll see that little um, nebulite pop up. And so now this has attack plus one on it um, from the nebulite. Um, that's pretty much it. And the way nebulite cubes work is you start out with a D nebulite or whatever um, and then you you click your alien cube in your cache inventory like normal and uh, you will drag your just your nebul nebulite you can't drag um, an item like this to the cube it won't change the nebulite you have to actually cube the nebulite itself and um, I'm pretty sure it's 100 percent chance um, the first cube you use on a D nebulite I think it's gonna go to C automatically so basically all cubing will do for you is make your D nebulites go to C, your C go to B, and your B to go to A. Um, it's one nebulite, or I mean it's one alien cube to get a D to a C, but I think to get a B and A, it's just limitless. Like you can do, like you could spend a hundred cubes if you're unlucky, um, or one if you're lucky. So that's basically how cubing works, and they're going to get better every time. Um, for example, if you notice this C nebulite right here is strength plus three, um, whereas a normal D strength nebulite is going to be one or two strength. Um, C can be three or four strength, B will be uh, five or six strength, and A is seven or eight strength. Um, and that pretty much just goes for all these stats like nebulites, uh, D nebulites can be one or two attack, and then the next one's three or four attack. So it's pretty much just like. Um, it's exactly like potential system, but just the only thing you have to remember when you're cubing nebulites is you have to cube the actual nebulite. So don't go mounting any um, any nebulites on your items unless you're 100% sure that that's what you want um, on your item, you know. And uh, that's pretty much it. But <clears throat> I guess one more thing: um, if you've already mounted a nebulite on your item like this and you want to get rid of it, there's things in the cash shop. Um, I think the only way to get them right now is if you use 10 alien cubes, you'll get this little thing, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a drill, and it'll take the nebulite off of your item. Um, and it won't, it won't actually take it off, so you get to keep the nebulite, it'll destroy it. So, like, if you have a C or a B nebulite, and it's pretty good, but it's not, like, perfect, um, if you think you're going to cube, don't put it on an item, because the only way that you can change it is to just destroy it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully it helped. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to try to put up some more videos soon. Um, I'm not going to post a dojo video, but for those of you who know or who might not know, uh, they revamped dojo, uh, and there's a whole bunch more bosses. There's a little ranked section, and the top 50 people in uh, each server for ranked will get gloves, um, special gloves. This is the worst pair. They're 12% all stats, 12% total damage, 15% boss, 10 attack, and 20 all stats. Um, and there's, I think the the best gloves are like 20% all stats, 20% boss, and then like 40%, or I mean 40% boss, 20% all stats, 20% damage, 40 all stats, or 30 or something like that, and then like 20 attack. So they're really good. Um, if you have decent damage for your server or whatever, I recommend getting them because they're better than really any glove. They're better than legendary. Um, and just, you just have to get on rankings once a day because they only last for a day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, leave some ideas if you're having trouble with figuring anything out from the new patch or if you just want to see like a certain video, just go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what, what idea you want me to uh, make a video for. And that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and do it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.